Hi there, hello and welcome. Um, over the past uh, the past uh, three weeks, I've been starting doing these uh, live streams on uh, on YouTube, and I'm doing I've done them so far in in Danish. Um, but I was thinking that uh, since this I really like this format and I really like this way uh, that that stuff like this works, um, I I plan to do these in English as well. So uh, from now on, every single Friday uh, from 20 uh, to uh, to to uh, to 21 from 8 to 9 uh, I'm going to do these uh, these uh, fly tying tutorials and the way I'm going to build these is I'm going to I'm going to divide this into two different uh, two different sections first of all I'm going to have a section that's probably mainly going to be uh, be about uh, pike fly tying there's going to be some difficult some easy some tubes and some some hooks and some poppers and stuff like that and then I'm going to have a have another half an hour uh, dedicated to uh, to let's say uh, to beginners fly tying so uh, so from uh, from 20 to 2030 it's going to be beginners fly tying and uh, because uh, well basically that's going to be a, a a bit easier for kids to join if it's if it's not too late um, and and also fathers uh, and, and you'll probably have to, to tuck your kids in so so if you don't want to join the, the 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 fun with with all the the beginning stuff then you can you can you can swing by later to join the the predator the the pike stuff which is going to be from uh, from half past uh, half past eight to, to nine so half an hour two different sections and I'm gonna do some material kits and stuff like that also for this my setup here is, is fairly simple and works rather well I have this main camera which I'm, I can talk to you and 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 negotiate and, 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 and tell you about stuff and then I also I have this setup where you can see I have mounted um, I have mounted uh, here I have mounted um, a tube because I'm gonna tie a tube fly. Basically, uh, what I was going to do tonight was was tie some flies anyway for for fishing. So I thought, why not just uh, rig this up and and start? So uh, oh, I can see somewhere uh, so there are some people watching. Um, if you have a YouTube account, uh, then you can uh, you can log onto that YouTube account and you can use the chat out here in uh, in um, in uh, in the side here. And as I can see already, uh, someone is already typing there. And uh, and thank you for that. So hello. P.A. Fly Fisher and Eduardo Martin Sanchez Sayas. Did, Sayas. Did I say that correctly? I don't know. My Spanish is not what is. <laughs> it's not. It's not the best. But um, what I would like, if uh, while you watch this, is if you could please comment out here in the in the sidebar here if the audio is good and if 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 the picture, the quality of, of the pictures is uh, is also uh, satis satisfactory, because uh, it it means a lot. I have a lot of different things I can tune and and adjust and stuff like that. So ah. <laughs> Thank you, Eduardo. Um, I'm I'm glad that my pronunciation was uh, was was fairly decent. Uh, so so please comment out here if if you think the 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 volume is 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 a problem or or if if there is some kind of loop or feedback or anything. Picture is okay and audio is okay. Great. Well, basically. Um, I would like to uh, to welcome everyone uh, here. This is going to be the first, as I said, of uh, hopefully many many uh, fly tying instructions. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna be a, a, an event I'm gonna do every single Friday at this at this at this at this uh, point in time. So at at twenty at eight o'clock, I'm gonna be tying two different flies uh, in in two sections of of half an hour. And well, basically, let's just well uh, get on with it. Um, so I'm gonna switch to uh, to the other part now. What I'm gonna tie today is is because I need some I need some I need some white flies uh, for for my box. I'm going pike fly fishing next week, so I need I need some uh, some white with with a bit of contrast. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a white and and pink one. Um, basically, um, uh, when when you build these these tube flies, what I really really like is is to have a have a nice and uh, and uh, and good base of uh, and please please feel free to 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 comment out in the uh, the side in the in the sidebar here if if you have any questions whatsoever anything you you would like to talk to me about or tell me about or uh, if you have a story or or whatever a dirty story whatever just just write it in the commentary and uh, and uh, and I'll I'll try to answer and uh, and yeah yeah so basically I take a bundle of uh, of white bucktail here. Um, and of course, if you can get some some nice and long bucktail, and the bucktail I have in my shop is is is, is something I hand pick from uh, from the wholesaler, so so I, I get I get good quality, and that's that's very essential. Basically, I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna tie it, so it's gonna be all around the tube here. This is gonna be the base of the rest of the fly. So so you you saw I have added some thread underneath here simply to have a have a good and sound uh, foundation for for my bucktail to to rest on when I use the thread here. Um, I've seen a lot of different threads used, 
for 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 pack fly, pack flies and stuff like that. And, and I must say, I, I really like this this future fly one. It's it's very fairly thin, so uh, but but strong as yeah, insanely strong. So so you, I I use actually I use this white kind of for every single fly I tie. I use it for salmon flies, for sea trout flies, for saltwater flies, for well basically I use it for all, also for nymphs. But if it's for uh, Hi, hello, Johannes. Johannes, nice to see you again. Um, yeah, Johannes, I'm gonna do the. Uh, I, I gave gave it a lot of thought since yesterday. I, I did a tutorial yesterday in in Danish, and uh, and and I figured that uh, uh, if I wanted to reach a bigger as big an audience as I could, um, uh, I think it would be a good idea to keep the the predator fly tying to to the English uh, to 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 the English channel. So so the Danish one, I'm gonna have some some coastal fly tying and stuff like that. I could do that also on on this one if if you like. Um, I've made a I've made a very uh, I've made a, f a Facebook group um, where I'm gonna get, host a lot of different, um, a lot of different, uh, a lot of different where you can voice your opinion on exactly what patterns or or what technique techniques you would like. So so I have this uh, Facebook group that's called um, that's called live stream and I'm gonna I'm gonna link to it here in in the chat so if, if you want to have a if you have an opinion or you, you want to, to influence uh, what types of patterns and stuff like that uh, that that you think I should tie then uh, then write your uh, copy paste that link and simply join the group um, I'm gonna do some uh, some polls there and stuff like that to see what what people uh, would, would like to see uh, well basically back to this fly I've, I've turned over the bucktail here and to make it stand out I tie up to the bucktail you see up to the bucktail but not on top of it so it still has this this big corona effect here but um, but I'm not gonna tie on top of it so so it still it still comes out of it then I'm gonna take some um, then I'm gonna take some um, Icelandic sheep and uh, and this is a material that is very very similar and I, I can't for the love of me not see uh, 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 see the difference between uh, this Icelandic sheep and something called Nayet. Uh, except for Nayet, it's almost impossible to find anywhere. And I, I, I am suspecting people of calling calling a material something different, you know, because then they could be the only supplier that has it. I don't know if, if that's... I bought some Nayet, and I think the similarities to this Icelandic sheep is, is, is very, very striking. So, well, basically, I like this Icelandic sheep. I'm going to use two different colors of this today, uh, because I want, uh, I want a, a fairly, fairly nice and light fly. And, uh, and what you can, uh, you can do here, preparing these materials, is I have this, uh, this brush here, this is from Future Fly. It's uh, well, basically just a brush. Um, it's not very expensive, and you can simply just comb your materials to to get to get them uh, right. I'm gonna do that with the. I should have done that before I cut some off, but I'm gonna do it with the the the, the piece here, the, the the piece here I cut off like so. This way I have have exactly how it how it should be. Uh, maybe this is a little much. Uh, gonna take some of this off, like that. And then I'm simply gonna gonna try again to distribute this out between my fingers here, out between my fingers here, so so I can I can I can brush it out here, and then simply lay it down all the way around the tube again because I want this fly to to look the same from from all over. I want this to be uniform uh, all the way around, like so. This is gonna be a roach pattern. I don't know if I mentioned that. So I'm gonna keep to to fairly fairly. Uh, Fairly neutral colors, except for the front, because well, basically some contrast is nice. This is something that's very similar to, to flies called called Hilo. Uh, Abu, the the famous Swedish uh, manufacturer, had a had a had a had a big a big, is it called wobbler wobbler, a very big lure at least, uh, some years ago that was all white with a red head, and uh, and that was called uh, that was called uh, that th type of, of lure was called uh, was called hilo, but that was kind of the iconic uh, the iconic color for 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 that bait. So so basically this is going to be the hilo fly, uh, a bit different from from how I how I do it sometimes, you know, but but a bit of variation is also nice. So I see 34 now. Well, uh, if you're just tuned in, then uh, welcome, welcome, uh, and uh, and nice of nice and uh, nice of you to swing by. Um, this is going to be a recurring event. So I'm going to do this. Um, 
I plan to do this every single Friday from eight to nine. So from from twenty to nine, and uh, and I'm gonna to do two different uh, two different flies. Um, uh, today I'm just gonna do the one because this is a startup, and and I just wanted to see if if, if people uh, would swing by, and and basically I wanted to make this as an as an introduction. So uh, basically now what I need is is some flash, and uh, and I really must say, uh, if if hi in Danish as well. 21 to party yes yes martin i don't know if i'm i don't know if i'm, I'm not gonna do this and and, and then straight to <laughs> go to a party afterwards or whatever but but what i want to show you is is this this is the uh, the, the the holographic magnum flash from hedron and and this stuff is simply just legendary uh simply just legendary it's it's out of this world the length and and the colors are just magnificent i use these i use this for almost any any fly so basically i take this and then i pull it a bit so so the ends here is not even and then I straighten it out here so the ends in the other end are not even as well and then I tie this down here here in the middle here like so again I'm gonna try to to distribute it so it's so it's all the way all the way around the the tube here like so the reason why i like tubes is basically um basically it gives you a lot of different options when it comes to uh, when it comes to how you rig them for instance you can use something like this this is uh, this is uh, the rig i really really prefer it has uh, the option of, of adding a wriggle tail and then it has a fairly large hook here and and then it has a rattle so so basically this this really really works well and um and uh, and i don't like i don't have the stinger hook because I, it's the stinger hook uh, at least for me, tends to to sometimes get caught in the gills and and will. Um, I'd rather catch. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not here to judge or anything or, or to say anything less about people who, who who use the stingers because you catch more fish with the stinger definitely. But but sometimes uh, the the hook with the stinger it it can get in the gills of the fish and yeah yeah basically that can be be a bit messy. Um, but well back to back to tying. So. Here I have applied the the flash here, and then uh, then I'm simply gonna take this uh, the rest of the flash here, turn it over. So I'm not gonna waste a single strand of this flash, not gonna cut anything off, and that's the nice part. Uh, the other nice thing about this, uh, I'm just gonna take the rest of that as well, simply just to make sure everything is is tied down twice, uh, to to ensure that uh, that it's 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 as strong and uh, and as durable as 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 possible. Uh, that's 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 crucial to have your flies as strong as and as durable because you you you're using a lot of materials here, and um, yeah, it's for Pike, El Liax Axa Liaxa. Hello from Norway. Hello, Shell Oge Rutsche again. Ah, oh, it's nice to see. Oh, from Brazil as well. Yeah, it's a very nice, very neat idea to 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 type down where you're from. I really really would like to know that. That's a very neat idea. Ah, uh, Finland and Brazil and UK and and United States. Oh, welcome all! It's 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 so cool to to meet and hang out like this. So so yeah, please feel free if you have any questions about what the heck I'm doing or anything, just uh, just write write about it in the in the commentary. Should I move that a bit further back like so? Is that okay? Is that is that fine? I moved it a bit back or or what? Should I should I take it, move it move it in closer? Well, I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you decide that in the commentary. To add a bit of contrast, then I'm gonna use. I should probably use some purple. Should I use? Bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna get my flash out. <laughs> yeah. When I say I'm gonna get my flash out, you're gonna probably get a bit of a shock here. So, basically, I have this. Because um, it's very crammed in uh, in here because I have all the stuff for the shop here as well. So basically, I have the flesh not in the best way. But uh, but since it's 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 just flesh, you can you can easily sort sort this out. Um, uh, you can easily sort this out uh, without without it, it being mangled or, or destroyed. Uh, simply just just comb it with your brush again. Then then there's no problem. So I know this 
looks kind of messy and um, I assure you it is but uh, as, as soon as you apply the brush here because the material is so durable it's it's no problem no no hassle at all um, what I wanted to get was uh, was a package of, of, uh, of pink uh, pink saltwater flashable to to have another type of flash that is broader and moves uh, in another way in the, in the waters so yeah basically I take some of this not that many I have about it's a relatively evenly distributed all distributed all the way around my tube here, like so. This is to make again to make some contrast and to have some some complementary colors to to the rest of this. Just gonna cut these strands. I'm yeah, I could have turned them over. Let's do that with the rest of these stumps. Like so. Well, that's nice. Estonia as well. <laughs> Germany. Ah, I'm sorry to hear that uh, Falstas that the, the stream is is lagging a bit. Are you sure it's your it's not your connection? Um, I have some fairly fairly fast internet, but I've actually uh, just today uh, contacted my 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 supplier and uh, well, it was a quite a bit more expensive let's say that um but but i have upgraded my uh, my my upload rate um i got them to 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 actually uh, to actually give me a higher upload rate um which which is is very essential to this so so if there is a bit of lag i'm hoping that uh, on uh, on uh, on uh, on next friday uh, the lag will be completely completely gone well Basically, we only have a few things left now. I'm gonna take some of this. These are the uh, these are the uh, these are the Kiak saddles, and these I have actually on sale in the shop right now. And these are simply simply just awesome. The, the, I've used this for many flies, and as you can see, there is still a lot of feathers on here, and and uh, the, the 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 quality in these is is just phenomenal. And I I. I try very very hard to keep all the different colors there is um, in the shop but but these can be a bit a bit difficult to come by but but I, I do all I can to have these in the shop all the time because uh, they simply just look absolutely absolutely phenomenal and as you can see the length here is the length the length here is approved so I could do the good thing here and tie these in individually and and make them make them be completely in the right uh, place and stuff like that and if this was only a fly for displaying in a shop or in a window or something like that that's what i would do but this is going into my fly box and i'm going to use this next week so basically i need to tie a bit more than this one this evening so i'm just going to tie it down like this and well that looks okay Again, to add some contrast, and these feathers are fairly, fairly, fairly strong, um, and and looks absolutely, absolutely astounding in the water. So, so I really, really like to use these. You can get some uh, some holographic, uh, not holographic. You can get some some flesh that does the same. I should have a package of this nearby, like this. This is the uh, this is the grizzly uh, the grizzly uh, magnum uh, flashabu. It has kind of the same effect as you can see, and really really cool material. So so if you don't want to if you, if you don't want to break the bank and buy uh, six or seven or, or even just one of these uh, these capes these saddles, then uh, then a package or two of of, of this material uh, comes a long way to to actually giving the same the same effect in your flies. How is my English, by the way? Is it is it okay? Am I how am I doing with this? You know, because when when you when you when you set up something like this, um, when you set up something like this, you basically have to go with with what you got, and and you have to be entertaining and stuff like that. Am I entertaining? Are you entertained? Because that's basically basically what I want to do with this: entertain and uh, and if I'm lucky, I I would like to yeah well basically. Uh, yeah, educate if if that's possible. I know there are some very very badass tires out there. I'm not saying in any way that I'm uh, that I'm <laughs> remotely uh, remotely any any oracle uh, when it comes to fly tying. But I enjoy it. I like it very very much, and and I really like to to spread the word. And 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 if I can if I can get some people to to uh, 
<laughs> but if I can get some people, you know, to come out and, and fly fish and or even start fly tying and and whatever, I, I really really would like that. So, so um, I'm glad to see that uh, that that uh, that oh the 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 number seems to be pretty solid on 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 around on around uh, on around uh, 35, and that's pretty good, I think. Uh, when when you when you consider that I did not advertise this in any in any way in advance, I hope the numbers will will increase. A little uh, uh, for next week, uh, but well, you know, let's see. I'm gonna do this anyway because I, I'm enjoying myself. The only thing I'm missing from yesterday is the beer. I, I drank the I drank the beer I had yesterday, so, so I'm kind of missing a beer now. I will rectify that for for the next session. So uh, so on on next Friday, please please uh, yeah uh, sh sh uh, have a beer and uh, and uh, and and tune in. Uh, that would be uh, that would be cool. Oh, back to tying. I'm talking too much now. I think. Oh, I can show you a link. I'm gonna I'm gonna post a link to uh, to the capes to the saddles here. Um, I was talking about, you know, um, I'm doing this uh, be because I like it, of course. But but uh, I'm also doing this because, of course, I want to promote my shop. I don't. Uh, that's not going to be any secret. I like doing this, and I think it's fun and entertaining. But but um, but but why not use this? Um, uh, use this opportunity to to to, uh, to actually to to show you some stuff and uh, and you know uh, promote my 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 shop. Well, there was uh, there was a link to to the saddles if you wanted uh, to see them. So uh, next up is uh, actually should we do two things or just one? I'm just gonna do one. Let's let's get the. I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do two. Gonna take some marabou here. This is a marabou feather, and uh, and I'm gonna use this as a hackle. Should I do this first or second? I should do this. I should do this first. I'm just thinking about the order of of which I should I should make these uh, uh, attach these for for maximizing the effect of of this. Basically, uh, a, mar a marabou feather here um, adds a lot of a lot of uh, first of all a lot of bulk, and it can it can. Uh, it is really really nice at at hiding stuff. So if you have a pike fly and and you you think the head is going to be too large and stuff like that, simply just add a marabou hackle and and you 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 won't be looking at at something that is is a bit ugly and and bulky and stuff like that because the marabou hackle will completely cover it. I use these for instance a lot on poppers, uh, for for the section where the popper head ends because if you tie in a marabou hackle there, uh, the, the the transition between the popper heads and and uh, the stuff you've tied in is going to be completely gone it will be covered completely by the the marabou and and your fly will look spectacular so uh, so it's it's a, it's a good uh, it's a good thing to to cover up stuff like that yes basically that's it and um, and then i'm going to use this i'm going to use the uh, i'm going to use the uh, i'm going to use the uh, the the Pink, uh, the pink Nayat, the pink Icelandic sheep here. Actually, my son has been playing with this. That's why it's so mangled. He, he has been. Uh, yeah, there's something in the in the Danish children's television where they were building some some figures for for kind of like. Uh, a song contest where they they're building figures from from the 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 cardboard stuff inside toilet papers you know the 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 the, the, the thing you just discard and then they're putting uh, eyes and stuff like that so so he, he he tried out a lot of different hairs styles for for what for for, for the figures he wanted to try but the, the, this pink one uh, was was not up to his standard he didn't like that so he went with another option well basically here i have a bundle here of this pink This pink fluffy stuff here. I'm gonna take out some of the some of the very woolly part here down from the bottom of this, like so. Remember the glue <laughs> and the rib. <laughs> yeah, I did a fly the other day where I forgot about the the rib. Ah, um, um, Solar Bates. I know your real name. Your name is you're from Finland. We've talked a lot. Oh, I can't remember. But regarding UV. Um, and uh, and and I, I think I've made a completely uh, a complete video about this regarding UV. I don't believe in UV. 
uh, because it's not I've not written anything that that proves in any way that fish actually sees UV but I do believe in fluorescence and fluorescence and UV is two different things uh, fluorescence is something that you can see and when you shine your UV light uh, onto if when you shine your, your UV light onto onto a material and it glows it's not uh, when you shine your UV light onto a material and it glows so you can see it it's not UV it's fluorescent uh, it means that actually the light uh, is trapped in that material and re-emitted uh, in in a in a in a in a in a light wave that you can actually see. So 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 uh, fluorescent materials actually emits more life, uh, more light than than non-fluorescent uh, materials. And I believe in that because your eyes can see it and the fish has uh, the receptors to see that as well. But if you look at salmon and sea trout and uh, steelheads and stuff like that, uh, the only thing that's proven is they have some a small amount of sensors that can see that, but only... Um, only when they're very very small, or when they are when they are are are, uh, are entering the rivers to to spawn again. But the the receptors are few, and it's not it's it's very few, and and it's not proven uh, that it works. What is a fact is that uh, UV materials are often uh, twice as expensive, and and. I, I tend to th tend to to think uh, well, that's at least what I thought is that if if some company is claiming that they have some magical magical uh, solution some magical uh, liquid that that only they know about and that they dip all their materials in making them twice as expensive for something that you uh, f for for an effect that your eyes can't see and it's very 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 doubtful that the fish can see it as well then I must say, I think it's simply, it sounds too good to be true, but the fluorescent effect uh, is something that I really, really believe in, and I use that a lot, both on pike flies and also on sea trout flies and stuff like that, because that is that has been proven, it works, and the fish can see that. So, basically. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if I blinded you. That was uh, that was not on purpose. I was, was, it, was, it, was it that bad? Okay, basically, uh, the last thing I'm going to tie down is, is I'm sorry about my rantings uh, about the, the UV, but it's something I've given a lot of thought into. I'm actually, um, um, I'm, I'm a physics teacher, so uh, I, ca I cannot live off the shop uh, as of yet. Um, who knows if, I am, if I'm ever going to be able to do that. Uh, you, you need to sell quite, a, quite an astounding amount of, uh, of, of bags of dubbing to, 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 to get a... a, a a full a full uh, full day's pay um but um but um as as i said i'm i'm a physics teacher so so this stuff about the the light and stuff like that is something i've actually taken quite an interest in and and, and been looking quite a lot into um uh, as you can see now here um i have the long the long part of of the hairs here pointing forward and that's because i'm going to take one of these this is uh a fish a fish mask in in size 10 i know that it's it's backwards but that's the only way i can actually show it so uh, that's my, the setup of these webcams so so this is the fish masks in the in size 10 um, and i'm going to use this to turn uh, the hairs back uh, backwards uh, making a, making making a nice head here so i'm going to take uh, my fingers and do a whip finish here just a fast one like so Clamp down on that, cut off the thread here, and then I'm going to take the head, the flyman head here, and I'm going to use that to simply press my materials back here. Like that. And if you really, really want to uh, be sure that this is is not going anywhere, you can you can apply some thread up there. I'm normally just gonna do like this. Take some super glue. Ah, probably I'm gonna do it with. Uh, but this is. This will also do the trick. Take some super glue up there. And then uh, the the size of head I use here is the size uh, this is the size ten, and the size of these uh, fish masks uh, refers to to the size of eye that will fit on here. 
and and these are nice and easy and and what i basically do because these can if 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 you use them in in this in these big sizes then they can uh, give your fly a bit of a bit of an updrift so so i, I often i use these on 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 an intermediate or or a sinking line uh, because it makes your fly hover very very nicely um and uh, well basically what you need to do now is take some glue and uh, and attach the color of eyes you want here and i've just i have a whole bag full of leftover eyes so I'm just gonna take whatever is lying around in 10 millimeters. That was this one. Actually, I have some very, very cheap eyes in the shop. Some very, very cool cheap eyes in the shop. These, uh, these uh, with uh, with different colorings. Um, for two euros, you get quite a quite a, a nice uh, a nice package of eyes. So yeah, I sell quite a lot of those. But still, at two euros, you need to sell quite a lot of eyes to <laughs> to actually have a, f a full day's pay. <laughs> so basically, if you want to make sure these will stick there even better, you can you can coat them with uh, with a thin coat of uh, with a thin coat of um, of UV glue and simply shine your light or epoxy or whatever shine your light on that as well. Um, but basically, basically, I should take this off the vise now. And um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna swab over here, and basically there you have it. A nice, not too bulky, but still still very 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 uh, translucent like the and and elusive like the real fish with uh, with these nice contrasting sideline looking uh, sideline looking uh, looking feathers. I'm just gonna cut off the tip of the tube here. Like so, and then I'm gonna take my lighter and just melt uh, this back here, like so. And you see, fairly easy to fairly easy to make, uh, nice and lively. Maybe a bit on the long side, so I'm gonna cut a bit of these off here, without cutting any of the f of the of the actual feathers, just the flesh here. That is a bit long for my taste. And then simply just. Stick one of these up the behind, like so, and you have a deadly, deadly, deadly fly. That's not very expensive to make. Ah, if you if yeah, if you replace the at least it's 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 a lot more inexpensive if you replace the settles, the the settle feathers with the uh, with uh, for instance uh, the the holographic flesh of and stuff like that. Yeah, up the behind, I know. <laughs> it was, you know... <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> Fancy guys, yeah. I'm just gonna see here. That's pretty much the trend. Yeah, but you know that's that's the thing about the UV. Um, of course, it tre it's trendy with with a lot of with a lot of the companies that actually sell sell this stuff because they want to uh, they want to constantly make something that is you know the new black something that is is oh this is something your world the world has never seen because then you would need to uh, you know to substitute every single pack of dubbing you ever bought with something new that has been dipped in in this magical liquid that no one knows really is and and that has an effect that your eyes cannot see so it's something that's invisible it's very expensive it, it almost sounds like it's magic and you know i'm a physics teacher and a bi biology teacher and and well i'd like to believe in magic you know i, I read i read uh, i read science fiction and and i and i read a lot about elves and stuff like that and a lot of fantasy as well because i like those books so i like magic but but when it comes to my flies i want to have something that works but I want something that works at, at a fair price. And that's also why I don't have any of the UV stuff in my shop. I could have it and I, I probably could sell some of it. But, but I, I, simply, I simply don't believe in it. I simply don't believe in it. So, and, and, I, and I think it's, it's charging too much for too little. So basically I've just decided not to have it. Basically. <laughs> yeah, Ellen. Magic is expensive. <laughs> so, well, basically I think... Um, I think I think that concludes this session. I'm just going to I'm just going to going to tell you again a little about uh, what what I want to do with this. This is going to be something that's going to come back every single Friday. 
my plan is and my goal is is to keep this up and 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 continue tying every single friday from eight to nine so every single friday on this youtube channel there's going to be a video uh, uh, there's going to be two different flies uh, i'm going to tie two different flies the first half an hour i'm going to do something that's that's not very uh, not very difficult something you could say at, at maybe a, a beginner's pace um some trout flies and stuff like that uh, so from 20 to 20 30 uh, there's going to be a, a specific pattern uh, ready uh, more than a week in advance so so you can you can be sure to have the the the, the materials you need and for the first half hour it's going to be beginners fly tying and the second half hour is going to be focused on this stuff it's going to be focused on on predator flies on on big musky pike flies and and stuff like that uh, i really enjoy tying these and and uh, and uh, and i've decided to 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 dedicate the second half hour from uh, from uh, uh, 20 uh, 2030 from 8:30 to 9 to to tying uh, one predator fly at a time and i'm going to do it uh, so i'm going to do it uh, the way that that it's going to have sessions of three th flies a go so three thursdays there's going to be a material pack you can you can get on the web shop if you like for for those th three days and uh, and after after those three sessions it's going to be three new flies and stuff like that if the demand is high and if if you don't really don't want to see uh, pike flies uh, then of course we can switch in and, and and we can go salmon or we can we can do sea trout flies or, or what, whatever you like and and if and, and if the if the beginners fly tying is is is, is not the bomb either is something that, you know people do not want then then definitely we can switch that up as well so that's why i've made a youtube uh, a youtube group that's called a uh, live live streaming i'm going to link that to you here in the in the chat um, and and basically here i'm going to post all the different stuff i'm going to do and i'm going to do some polls uh, where, where where the members of the group can decide what what three patch patterns should should probably be the next I'm not going to do that here in, in the beginning but as soon as 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 as, uh, as this grows and, and and the audience grows and stuff like that then uh, then that's 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 the plan so basically i really really would uh, would, would like to 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 spend this this hour with you every single uh, yes, salmon fly Henrik would like we're going to do that in Danish as well Henrik so so don't don't you worry don't you worry there's going to be some salmon flies in Danish I'm doing this in Danish every every Thursday um, and that's why he asks but um, basically, I really, really like uh, like this uh, this way of doing things. I like that I can interact with you uh, straight away. You can tell me exactly what you want. You can ask me all the questions you want in the world, and I can respond as soon as I as I as as I see a perch fly. As someone says, um, as as soon as. Uh, if I spot your your comment in in the in the in in the site here, I, I can respond and tell you exactly how uh, how and why I do what I do. Um, and I really think this interaction is is a cool thing. And and also uh, I think it's cool and 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 it's, it's important to be consistent. That's why I've decided to do this every Friday because you can tune in or you can uh, you can choose not to. But but I'll be here uh, waiting and and eager to to tie flies. Probably be drinking beer as well. Well, at least one. If I'm going to do this Thursday and Friday, I'm probably just going to have one beer. But, you know, one beer is okay. Um, um, so, so basically, uh, that's the plan. And, uh, and I really hope to, to, see, uh, to see you here um, Friday evenings uh, tying alongside me, uh, watching uh, this mayhem, this crazy, crazy stupid Dane doing what he likes the most, tying flies and, and you know, running his mouth about fly fishing and, uh, and stuff like that. So um, thank you very very much for tuning in. Um, I really um, I, I really enjoyed this uh, I really enjoyed this session and um, well until next Friday have 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 uh, have a good time and uh, hopefully you get some time on the waters. Uh, I'm signing out. Thank you for watching. <laughs>